Oh, do. Right. I've been waiting for this boiler for a long time. <laughs> Amino from Baitworks, uh, 15 mil freezer bait. There we go, and I'm going to do a tank test on them. Let's drop some of these in the tank and uh, see how we get on with these. So I'll spin you around and then you can see me dropping them in the tank. Sweet. Right, there we go. I'll just put, well, I'll put half a dozen in. Four, five, six. There we go, I'm just going to drop them in. That's it. So there we have half a dozen of Cree Amino Freezer 15ml boilies from Baitworks. Okay, so there we have it, they're all in the tank, and I'll catch you in a bit. That this is after one hour in the tank. You can see little bits uh, coming off there, fizzing away all over there, releasing all the flavours and ingredients. You can see them coming off, can't you? That was after one hour, so. Yeah, looking good, looking good. A few little bits on the bottom. Looking good so far after one hour. Right. Two hours in now. Yeah, looking good. Don't know if you can see this poor light I've got here. Yeah, you can still see the bits coming up, look. Rising up off the boilies. Yeah, so we're still leaking attraction. That one there, uh, and the one at the back, looks like a seed's popping out. But yeah, all good at the moment, all good. All right, that's after two hours. Um, got to go to work now, so unfortunately it's going to be 12 hours next time I look at these. It's just the way it is. Morning. Right, we're 16 hours in now, it's 6 o'clock in the ruddy morning, and I'm doing a bloody tank test. <laughs> right, there we go. Let's get one out. Oh, oh fucking. So, like. Yeah. Yeah, very soft. It's still got a bit of a skin around them though. A little bit of a skin on them. Oh, they, st they smell. Yes, they still smell. After 16 hours. We'll get another one out. We'll get another one out. Oh. Get all of them. There we go. Yeah, they're not uh, ready for breaking up properly. 
you've got like a bit of a skin around the surface of them um, but once you pop that they crumble so what I'm going to do I'm going to leave them in a bit longer um, I'll come back in at 2 o'clock which will be 24 hours a full 24 hours and we'll see how they are then okay so see you in a bit I'll do right 24 hours in now yep 24 hours let's have a look let's see if there's any difference oh. right there we go let's get these out and have a look 24 hours oh oh it broke in the forceps. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Right, let's get another one out. Hold it gently. <laughs> there we go. They're still... They're still in the firm shape. They've got like a firm skin on them. They're weird, these ones. But they are very soft. In, once you crack it, they're very soft. Um, but, yeah. You know, they are, they've gone to crumb like, you know. But they've got like a bit of a skin around them. It's weird. But once you crack the skin, they, uh, they're very soft inside. So I don't know what that skin is around them. And that's 24 hours, so... So yeah, uh, I've got some glug here and I'm going to drop that in the tank and have a look at the Cremino uh, glug, so let's have a look at that, and that's it. Just going to put a bit of this in, let's see what this looks like on the bottom, just want to drop, put a drop in. Oh look at that, that like a worm, like a big worm. Look how that's just sitting on the bottom. Yeah, I've also got some boilies that I've glugged in. I've been glugging them in for 24 hours, so they've had 24 hours in the in the same liquid, so I'm going to drop some of them in as well. I'm going to check that other one out. Oh, come here. No, I got you. I'll drop one in the middle of that. Oh yeah, look at that. Like I say, these boilers have been glugged in the same liquid that I poured on the bottom there. And that liquid's uh, designed to stay on the bottom, not um, not rise up. It's just designed to stay there and spread out and leave all the flavour there on the bottom in the gravel, the silt, whatever you're fishing on. So, you know, they will come along and it'll be there for a while how long it's going to stay there like that i don't know so i'll come back in an hour and see what's to, uh, see what the crack is okay right i left it two hours and as you can see it's spread out thinned down it's pretty much covering the bottom of the tank after two hours uh, like i say it's not uplifted because it's designed to stay on the bottom. Yeah. 
can't see any bits coming off these like the other ones maybe the glug has stopped that happening i don't know i don't know weird one but yeah look all right and the smell hmm i can't smell the water obviously not. there you go that's after two hours right i'll so i'll see you in the morning i'll do right we're 24 hours in now in fact we're 25 hours in yeah 25 hours in so let's spin around and have a look Ooh. right there we go let's have a look let's have a look at this liquid on the bottom water's very murky yeah the liquid's still there on the bottom oh very murky let's get a boil out Let's have a look. Yeah. Yeah, that's crumbled that. Yeah, absolutely. 25 hours in and it's gone. Does it smell? Yeah, absolutely. Still stinks. Pretty much the same smell as, as it went in. So, has, it, has putting that glug on made any difference? Made a little bit of difference to the smell. Made a little bit of difference to the smell. 10, 20% stronger smell because of that glug that was on. But yeah, yeah, they're very soft them. So yeah, last 24 hours, I'd be happy with that. Um, them breaking down after 24 hours. Obviously, they're gonna, they still look whole, but in a proper scenario out there in the lake, with all the little bit of fish picking them on and the water pressure on them, obviously the water pressure is a lot more in seven, eight foot of water rather than six inches of water um yeah uh, i'd be quite happy to use them to be honest and they smell nice and they look okay so it's a thumbs up from me happy days and i'll catch you on the next one